Well, hello there, my bowfishing brethren. Once again, a new bowfishing video. Uh, <laughs> at least new at the moment. Uh, being uh, June 8th, 2020, up in uh, Lake Huron, Michigan. Uh, this is one of the last uh, spots that uh, uh, I bowfish. Um, because I, well, one of the last spots, for, I guess, uh, more accurately, that the fish spawn. Because the water is so cold. Um, the, the bottom's a little bit uh, brighter, doesn't really, there's not as much dark, mucky uh, uh, bottom, more sandy, silty, rocky, so it takes a much longer time for it to heat up. My friend here, John, uh, ended up running into a problem with his reel. Uh, somehow, someway, he ended up uh, basically breaking the drag. And at first, I thought perhaps he was just, you know, had a set too light. But no, he he broke the drag somehow. So you see him winding away and not getting anywhere on the fish. That's what that's all about. Uh, all the usual camera settings, uh, you know, 2.7K, 300. Uh, I'm sorry, 30 feet per second. Weight balance is actually set at 5,500K. Uh, Postune's on. This is on the standard uh, eight foot long, uh, one inch square aluminum two pole that sticks in or attaches to the, uh, the bow rack that I have on uh, the boat. Uh, you're gonna be seeing some pictures of that bow rack coming up at some different angles as well. This uh, new gaff holder uh, that I built oh, a few weeks ago, or a couple weeks ago, I should say, uh, has really worked out well. It's sort of taken a while to sort of get used to it, but basically it's a piece of PVC pipe that is just large enough to fit the diameter of the gaff itself. And I cut a slit down the side of it to allow the gaff hook to slide in and out of it. Uh, again, makes it much more accessible uh, than the previous system that I had. And I keep one on each side of the boat been very happy with it. Recently I did a little short video on uh, my bow fishing bow rack and uh, what you're going to see is a few pictures popping up from different angles, measurements of it. Um, it has really worked out. Now, um, using bungee cords and some uh, PVC uh, like sleeves over the threads to protect the bows from getting scratched um, has really helped. I, I really love that thing. And uh, again, you can do a lot with it. About a week ago, my uh, power cable uh, started getting a couple cracks in it. Uh, a couple filaments ended up breaking. 
and uh, Joey was kind enough to get a set of them out to me that same day. Um, and uh, the day that I received them, I put them on the bow and was right back out on the water. Uh, one of my favorite arrows to shoot, or my favorite arrow to shoot, is the AMS Anchor QT. I get asked that quite often. It's a great tip. Uh, you can remove the fish quickly. When uh, people shoot spinners, typically they shoot from the back of the arrow, and uh, there's a hole drilled through the back of the arrow. What I do with my line is I tie a loop at the end of it. Um, so I start off about six inches of line or so, uh, I fold it in half, and then uh, do a, what they call a half hitch. This will form a loop. Uh, the larger the loop is, uh, the easier it is sort of to work with. Anything smaller than two inches sort of gets a little bit more troublesome pulling the knot through and then doing a figure eight over the back of the arrow. I originally started off just doing one loop around the arrow uh, after pulling it through, and I found occasionally on guards it would uh, it would pull off. Since I did a figure eight, haven't had a single one of those problems. Another advantage to this is say when you shoot through a fish, uh, what I can do is just undo the loop around the arrow knock, pull the line back out of the arrow, uh, then take the fish off of the uh, the line, then I take the loop put it back through the arrow hole, do another figure eight, around the knock, and you're back up and running. You know, in this video here, all the lights that you see are powered by uh, two large 12-volt uh, batteries uh, hooked up uh, to produce 24 volts that I'm using this uh, pure sine wave inverter for. Um, it is a, a system, depending on how many that I am using, I can, uh, you know, run it from uh, anywhere from like five hours to uh, maybe up to nine or ten. Uh, right now, all the lights are running on the boat. There's a total of nine 50 watt Volgrams and four 100 watt uh, Arrow LEDs. Alright, the condensed version is, is that uh, there's the 90 50 watt Volgrams um, and four 100 watt Aero uh, LEDs. Now, there's a total of five Volgrams up front, three of which are floodlights or 120 degree. The other two are actually 60 degree more spotlights. Uh, this gives me a better overall coverage with consuming the same amount of power. There's also uh, uh, two on each side, uh, 50 waters, again, uh, a flood and a spot. And then when it comes to my DC uh, arrow LEDs, there's two up front and one on each side. So in this part of the video, I tried to do something a little different. We ran across this pocket of fish, and it was uh, just basically just one after another. Uh, so what I would do here is just speed through the uh, moments where I wasn't actually fighting a fish, and uh, uh, just a standard play when we're actually uh, fighting the fish. Uh, let's see if it was a format that uh, some would like.
So this might be only like the second time I've ever personally seen this. Um, I shot this dogfish and it had vibrant green fins. And I thought it was worth to take a moment and uh, take a picture of that and make sure it stood out in the video. You know, I had a really great night uh, this night. Uh, a lot of things went well and uh, shot a decent amount of fish. Uh, what you see there in the front there is that there's these two thin single row LED bars that I use for uh, driving around in uh, canals. Uh, it doesn't really have much sort of like light pollution. It stays off to the sides, doesn't really brighten up everything or light up all the houses around. You can go into an area where, uh, again, other boats are and not be blinding them. I hope everybody uh, has a damn good day or at least try and hopefully 2020 will be your best year so far. Uh, a lot of us got off to a late start and all with all these crazy things going on in the, our country right now. It's uh, nice to see that we can get out and enjoy something that uh, we truly uh, love doing.